Uh, today's concert uh, is to the benefit of our local Salvation Army, which does wonderful work in our community, and also our Sauk Prairie students in need. We have students in our school district that are homeless or in need of support, and anything we can do to help locally, and all of the monies raised with these two buckets benefit students and people in our community that especially need assistance this time of the year. Plus, you get an extra week. This is not Advent yet. You still have four weeks of, of Advent coming up to Christmas, so we hope that this puts you in the holiday and Christmas spirit uh, to enjoy uh, the rest of the season. So, have a wonderful afternoon, and please enjoy <coughs> Appalachian Winter.
season for music and singing. How right it is to raise our voices in worship and praise, for it was into the silence that God spoke to us his word of life. How fitting that, in winter's deepening darkness, we light a candle and gaze upon its golden grace, for it was into the shadows that God sent his son. How beautiful it is when we gather as one community of faith to share the timeless story that transformed the world with light. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is only right that we sing and be joyful, for this is a season of wonders and a time for remembering we are people of hope, peace, love, and joy. Forgiveness and mercy. 
sent to us your Son and changed the world with grace. This is a season of peace and assurance. Let the Spirit of God, like a gentle wind, move through your hearts and strengthen your faith. Let it search you and fill you with new life and fresh meaning. Live expectantly for the coming of the Son. God is working His purpose out, and soon a new day will dawn and fill the earth with light. For it is written, Behold, the day is coming when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and in that time, I will cause a righteous branch to spring forth from David, and he shall bring justice and righteousness to the land. Thank you. 
This is a season for listening and learning. Let the word of God dwell richly in you. May it encourage and strengthen you as you wait for the coming kingdom. Through the prophets Isaiah and Jeremiah, the promises of God have been made known. The Bible reminds us to find comfort in these prophecies, declaring, For things written in ancient times are given for our instruction, that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. The prophets declared that in Bethlehem a virgin would give birth. This miracle would be sacred evidence that the promise made to David would be fulfilled. This holy child will establish a kingdom that will last forever. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, and the Prince of Peace. because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn.
for seeking and worship. As we gaze into the wintry night sky, we are filled with a sense of wonder and awe. Who are we that God should love us? Who are we that God should send His Son Jesus to restore and redeem our broken lives? As we search the scriptures, we discover that we are not alone with these thoughts. Sages from the East also searched the night skies for answers. These wise philosophers had studied ancient prophecies, and when they discovered a new and brilliant star, they pondered its significance. In the Gospel of Matthew, we read this account. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we have observed his star in the east and have come to pay him homage.
This is a season for sharing and celebration. Christ is born. God has sent a Redeemer into our world and has set our hallelujahs free. For it is written, O Zion, that bringest good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bringest good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold, your God. Arise and shine, children of light. Declare the good news of the Savior's love. Shine your lamps from the highest mountain and tell the world that Christ the Lord is born. Glory to God in the highest. Christ the Lord is born. <coughs>
that truly makes up for me counseling them for the last seven weeks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Enjoy the holiday season. Merry Christmas to all of you. And remember, peace in our time. Thank you.